Okay, let's talk polygamy and open relationships. See, those are two things I actually thought about doing for a really long time. And I actually tried the whole open relationship thing, but it didn't quite work for me. And I'll tell you why. It gave me a headache. Okay, a huge headache. I started doing researching. I started seeing if I can really apply it because for me, I felt like my relationships in the past wasn't working necessarily. Like, you know, I needed a few different people for my different personalities, you know, being a Gemini and all. For those of you that don't know, polygamy is a practice or a custom that consists of a wife or a husband having multiple wives or multiple husbands all at the same damn time. Now, open relationships, that pretty much just means you can smash whoever you want. But here are the three reasons why it just couldn't work for me. I didn't see it. Number one. Number one is usually a polygamy family has a household or maybe three separate households with three different women plus all of their kids. That means not only do you have to deal with your kids, but you have to deal with everybody else's. And sometimes it's unbearable to have your own damn kids. I don't have kids, but I got dogs and they frustrated enough. So it just wouldn't work for me. Also, the guy that I saw on the TV had to separate his time. So every day he had to spend time with a different chick. When do you get time for yourself? Never. You know why? Because you want more than one vagine. Number two, usually it's not the man that goes out and gets to choose the chick. It's the woman that goes and looks for the other woman. So you know what that means. Women are not going to find another chick that's better than them. You're not going to get another chick that got a fatter ass. You're not going to find a chick that could cook better. You're not going to find a girl that could do anything better than them because it's not in their DNA. So you have to at least try to get somebody that's somebody that's a little bit like downgrading, but at least right underneath her. I remember when I tried to do the whole threesome thing with one of my chicks and uh, I remember pointing out a girl and every time I would point out a girl that I liked that I would get, you know, feelings for, then she would be like, no, that ain't it. But then she would go pick a chick that wasn't even close to my type. And if she was cute enough or somebody that I was attracted to, I had to hold in my excitement. That's not fair. Number three. You have to have money. You understand? You have to have money. I tried to date three girls at one time. And I basically was paying my rent three times every week. Because you can't take out one girl and, and finesse her and be romantic. And then not take out the other girl. Because now they all know y'all dating together. And so they like, well, you know, I'm pretty sure that she did this. So they always trying to one-up each other. It's a freaking headache. As much fun as it is to be able to go, yeah, I got another chick every day. You don't understand how much money you need to be able to keep that together. So love is love. And uh, it was great while it lasted for about two days. But uh, shit gave me a headache. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, go follow me. You can check me out on www.cwayans.com. Now that's C-W-A-Y-A-N-S for those of y'all that just like to spell the name the way y'all want to. Okay? What are you doing? You still here? Go get some merch. All right? Because we're just trying to live better. That's what we do. Live better because every day is a fresh start. Preach.